Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Lately, I've been playing some some good old Wi-Fi battles. It's something I haven't done in a long time, and um, well, my boy Nerthy boy, he made his uh, like NPC league. It's like a league where you collect gym badges, and it's not it's not serious at all. It's like a little fun place for everyone. Like for well, there's a lot of in inexperienced battlers there, but uh, some people are good as well. And I decided to, you know what? I'm gonna flex a little bit. I'm gonna take my my smoker knowledge into this league and I'm gonna be like yo I got a trick room team <laughs> I'm terrible at intros anyway that is uh, what this video is about it's about that league um, I have been taking a couple of gym badges because you know I'm gonna show that uh show what, what show what's up you know and that is what I have been doing lately now in the league it's not the league, the league doesn't really follow the small, small gun formats. It's like its own format. It's like, don't bring event Pokemon or mythical Pokemon, and you'll be fine. Quite thumbs up. Like, you know, don't bring Meloetta because Meloetta is OP. I don't know. I wish I could bring Meloetta. And of course, don't bring Ho-Oh -Ho because Ho-Oh -Ho is broken. Uh, other than that, it was just not the same items. Go, go mental. And I thought I'm gonna bring every OP stuff I could find and the first team I made was a trick room team and the first gym I was facing was a bug gym it was a bug gym yes it was it was a bug gym I was facing big nuke boy I think it was called and uh, oh boy uh, well let's just skip right into the match okay because it's, it's kind of interesting it is kind of interesting so his team is consisting of like Galvantula, Crustle, Buzzwall Volcarona, Feromosa, and Scissor. First of all, I didn't know these gym thingies were pure pure monotype. I thought they were like semi-monotype, like you have three of the same type and then you have three wild cards or two wild cards. But no, they're, they're, they're just monotype. And I was like, okay, well now my team looks really stupid. <laughs> I have not a whole lot of uh, bug switches, although I have some. And um, the first thing I look at is, is like, okay, it's probably gonna be some sticky web shenanigans into shell smash or something. That's like the first thing I see. Like, sticky web, shell smash, win. That, that, that's this guy's strategy, just looking at his team pre looking at his team preview. I, of course, brought the trick room with Yuxi, uh, my good boy, uh, <laughs> good boy Alawak, uh, which just decimates his team. Look at his team, and look at Alawak, and look at his team, and now look back at Alawak and say, what does Alawak not kill? Like, it kills everything. Um, we have Trick Room, uh, Cresselia, we have Stack Attacker, the best uh, Ultra Beast ever to exist. Uh, Mega Marwell, Mega Marwell is kinda nice in this matchup as well. And of course, we have the Lobster. Um, and without further ado, let's just start a match and see how the first gym match went. This is my first Wi Fi battle in like almost a year. Uh, I don't really like doing Wi-Fi battles because, well, you, you are going to disconnect a ton of times and it's just really, really boring. <laughs> it takes so long and you are going to disconnect at least twice a day. But uh, yeah, this one didn't disconnect, so let's see what happened. Alright, we are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Lucas. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna lead my Yuxi because this is a pure Trick Room team. I'm just gonna go. You know, Yuxi is good. I can get up Trick Room. I do have the Bug Resist Berries. I know I can get up Trick Room against anything he wants to bring. Um, and he brings Sticky Web. <laughs> uh, my team is. If you played a bit OU, you know my team is a pure Trick Room team. So I don't know. This man has probably not played a lot of OU. I'll just take that into consideration. I'll just set up the Trick Rooms. And I know for a fact that Stealth Rock's gonna be good because it does have a Volcarona in the back and every other potential Pokemon will be nicely chipped. He just go for the Bug Buzz, it's gonna do absolutely nothing to this Yuxi. Look at this. Mm, eight. Like, I could probably take another one. So the Tango Bear doesn't really matter because now I'm gonna go for the Memento, trying to set up Alowak as early as possible and claim a couple of easy kills right off the bat. Um, I hopefully make it a bit easier this matchup. So I'm just gonna go down. His uh, bug buzz is gonna go into nothing, and uh, I can bring safely in Alawak. Now this guy Lucas, this Lucas, he does not care about the fact that I have Alawak. So I'm just gonna go for the SSD. It's a bit. I didn't even consider that this thing might be choice. No, no focus ash. So I just go for the SD, trying to like push, every, trying to kill everything, but he just go for thunder, not even considering the fact that I could be lightning rod, he just like doesn't care, 
And um, unfortunately, that is, that is a big amount considering he's minus two. So I'm just gonna go for the flare blitz. Um, here's the here's a little blunder by the fact that I didn't consider the fact that he was choice. No, focus sash, and he's gonna get off a second thunder and stall out another trick room turn. That's a really, really, that's not good at all. So, and he gets a para. So that's gonna make things a lot harder. The twisted dimension return to normal. I am gonna switch out my David because it's really, 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 really good. I'm gonna go hard into Crest. Crest can tank this for days. I mean, this is a minus two thunder. It's gonna do like, what, 10? I did a little bit more than 10. But he gets a para here as well, which is like, oh, come on. Like, I know I'm trick room, but like, never trust yellow magic, right? It is it is gonna bite you in the ass. So he decided to switch, no, he didn't, he didn't decide to switch it. He decided to switch it later. Well, I set up trick room. Here, I suppose, yeah, I set up Trick Room, um, as he just went for Bug Buzz, again, did nothing because he's minus two special attack, and uh, now I'm just gonna go for the Lunar Dance, I'm just gonna go into, go for the Lunar Dance and straight into Marowak, and just start clicking Flare Blitz, everything will fall, um, as he switches out, meaning that he can't take another hit if, unless this is Defog or his Feromosa is Rapid Spin, but unfortunately, unfortunately, the Yellow Magic is working, <laughs> annoying. I hate para. Anyway, it doesn't really matter too much. I lost one trick room turn. I'm just gonna click it again. Like I know I can survive it. Like basically any sizzle. Like I don't think sizzle has anything that really can kill me. Like a bug bite. I don't. I don't even think a bug bite can kill me. I'm pretty fat. But unfortunately, the yellow magic is working again. As the X Cutter. Cool nickname on these dudes. Sizzle. Just go for the knockoff. Annoyingly. And uh, the yellow magic is working again! What a fantastic time as he just sets up on me and I'm like, oh crap, this is really, really bad. This is also my, uh, the next turn is also my last turn of Trick Room. So even if I get this, but I don't get it. Even if I got that Lunar Dance off, it wouldn't really help too much because I had to switch Marowak out, but I don't even get to pull off again. I didn't get, even get to pull off a Lunar Dance. So, my Cresselia dies, uh, does actually absolutely nothing. It sets up Trick Room, Trick Room expires and it dies. That's what that thing did. It did absolutely nothing. In comes Stack Attacker. I have to switch in Stack Attacker. I don't really want to because I know it's going to take a lot from a plus two um, Zizzo. And if he had Super Power there, it would just kill me. But I, I, am, I am able to get off a Trick Room, which is really, really, really nice. Um... And, uh, but he that does a pull a punch though, and that does so much against my stupid taka taka. Mm. Anyway, I just have to throw away the Rocky Z immediately. Like, hope, hope for a crit or some, some magic. I don't know. Uh, I have to get rid of this scissor. I mean, I do, even if this thing goes down. Um, I can, I can revenge kill scissor after this, even though it doesn't kill. But he does have the bus wall in the back. Uh, which I would like to get some damage off on. And Buzzwall is basically his only Pokemon that can stop this thing. Uh, but we don't kill. But for some reason, he does not press uh, Bullet Punch again. Now, that must be a misclick. And that might even cost him the game. Because, like, the fact that he allowed me to stay alive means that I'm going to get a plus one hit on something. Like, no matter what he goes into, I'm going to get a plus one hit. He goes into Buzzwall because it is the only Pokemon that can tank a hit, tank a hit from this. I mean... And considering that I have Mega Marwell in the back means that he can't just sack moms and yeah, he can't just sack moms everywhere. So I do get a heavy gyro ball off. And um, he has a rocky helm as I faint. He doesn't even get the beast boost. LOL. <laughs> anyway, we go into Santi here. Santi Casola, the Marwell, the Mega Marwell. Gonna get off a nice intimidate, even though it doesn't matter because I am slower and we still have Trick Room up. Again, he doesn't have any switch-ins for this. I mean, I, if I were him, I would probably uh, sack Galvantula here, but he stays in, which is really nice. It allows me to get rid of this thing, and um, really easy, just an Iron Head, boom. There's no way you're surviving this from that range. Uh, and I'm just going to take a little Rocky Helmet chip, and um, I think that's the last turn of Trick Room. Yeah, that's the last turn of Trick Room. Now, he goes cross I don't know, like, he thinks... Uh, I'm pretty confident I can survive an EQ from this. Like, there's no way an EQ is going to kill a Mega Mawile. Like, really? So he goes for EQ. I'm just going to go for the Iron Head. Like, I know he's going to go for EQ. And, uh, what do you know? I live. Don't underestimate this thing, guys. It is it is bulky. It is bulky, I promise you. So, Crustle goes down. Nice. Mawile is already 
pulling in work. Like, we are getting back into the match. He goes for the Volcarona. Now, this is a bit scary because he could go for something like a Quiver Dance. But I'm go either way, I'm just going to risk it and go for Sucker Punch. And uh, what do you know? <laughs> he didn't click. He didn't click Quiver Dance. If he clicked Quiver Dance there, that would be the weirdest mind game ever. Anyway, he goes hard for Moza. Like, um... And well, that is, that is actually his last Pokemon. I'm just going to go for the Sucker Punch, get a nice chip, and uh, put him in range of my Lobster. He just go for the High Jump Kick, it really doesn't matter. I mean, everything will probably kill me there, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. Because in the back, we have the Great, the Big, the... Took some Life of Damage, don't care about that. The Lobster, this thing, yes. You might think it's a bad thing bringing a dark type to a bug gym, but what do you know? This lobster put in work, it finished off the game with a nice aqua jet into Feromosa's face, and that is all. His Galvantula is gonna die once it enters, and even if it doesn't, I do have aqua jet, so it doesn't really matter, but he's gonna go down to the rocks, and we win this gym badge. What a weird match it was, like... <laughs> like, honestly, if he didn't, um... If he pressed bullet punch and killed my uh, stack attacker, I would I would lose. I'm pretty sure of that. I would just lose. And um, I'm thinking like, is there anything else I could have done differently? Like, yes, I could have. Um, I should have just attacked immediately with my uh, Marowak because, like, what does he have? He doesn't have like any switchings per se. Like, Crustle can probably tank a hit, but Crustle just allows my. I mean, it just allows my Cress or Uxie to come in. I mean, I mean my Cress to come in. My Uxie died. Well, um, so I don't really think that would have helped. And I could, either way, I could just get up a huge chunk of damage on it, and still probably have one Trick Room turn left. If he decided to do that, I'm not really sure if, um, or maybe Marowak's Flare Blitz would have just killed it because that thing hits really hard. I didn't really bother to calculate. I know I did a mistake there. Um, which uh, might have cost me the game. If I just attacked immediately, I wouldn't get parried on my Marowak, and his Galvantula would be gone uh, long before um, Yellow Magic became a problem. So that was my first gym match against gym match against the. Uh... Oh, God damn it! I forgot his name again. God damn it! I forgot his name again. Big Nuke Boy was it? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that was my gym, uh, gym match against him. Uh, thanks to my opponent. Very good game indeed. Uh, and yeah, hope to see you guys next time for more gym matches against Yellow Magic and other worthy opponents.